Rugby returns to the communities. It's the 2018 Supersport Challenge. Kwazakele Wolfson Stadium hosts the Uten Hague Derby. It's progress up against gardens. There is an ocean of blue supporters and a forest of green supporters. Gardens and progress split the town of Uten Hague in two. It is compared to the Man City, Man United derby. It's a fair and quite perfect day for rugby. The generations of people from children to older men and women coming out and supporting. And I can tell you these guys have been getting revved up from early on. And to add to the drama of today's match, there are two brothers camping either side we see here coming out Darlington Hans the captain of gardens I'm in the booth with Vim Pissa Vim we were here a year ago in the exact same setting how wonderful is super sport challenge and community rugby well the first thing about it is Anton thank you and welcome everyone it's connecting communities with their local rugby heroes and that is fantastic B, can you imagine being the parents of the... And we just got into the, looking at this guarded side. Well, Ronaldo Lewis was a late change coming on to them. And Darlington Hans, the captain, Morgan Felix, came in late. And Denver Bonaparte has been a star for them over the years. And you see the name Zana there, quite well known in these areas. And the progress side. Well, Raymond Darius, he played EP Kings. Christian Berry, a youngster, he's 20 years old. Mike DeFoss, have a look at him, Nagati player, Archie Hunt, their captain. And at four, Samuel Jacobs, 125 kilograms. Vim, cut you off earlier, jumped right back in. To get back to your question, can you imagine being the parents of the captains? Archie Hans, number six, playing for Progress. He's the elder brother, 31 years of age. Then you have Darlington Hans. He's the captain of Gardens. He's 20, 29 years old. Can you imagine being the folks? The house is divided. Utenake is divided. It's a massive rivalry. Look how pumped these players are on the field. Can you imagine being the folks? Out there, your, 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 your kids are out there, banter all week, it's about bragging rights, it's about the rights afterwards, the whole week afterwards, can you imagine the whole month, the whole year, brothers getting under each other's skin, what an occasion. Well, I spoke to some of the garden supporters earlier, and I said, all the brothers I'm talking to, the end of now, who's going to be refereeing today, he said, no, not only are they friends, but they stay in the same house, but I've been told, that the rivalry is to such an extent that a progress supporter would not accept a cream soda if you bought it for him because or her because it's green so Vim, as you say high stakes high drama and they both teams used to be one they used to be gardens and they split in 92 and they played each other four times last year gardens won three times but they lost their final match which is the semi-final of the ep grand challenges and progress went on to win it so very hard one to call today Vim, and very tight blue captain very oh, it's going to be a tough match and that's what gold cup matches are about it's the eastern province grand challenge and here we go and lewis ronaldo lewis begins things this morning and Gordon's retained possession, having a little runabout immediately. The eighth man, the tall Forbes. Dwayne Prince. Prince is 20 years old, and it's going to be great to see him working with Clyde Tehran, who's the inside center, and he's 35, no, so a 15-year age gap between the two. Now, Marlon Lewis goes on a run. Let's it go to Lewis. Strong defense from progress. Lewis puts it over the top. Get back. Get back.
hasn't found touch. Taken very calmly by Kenny Bayman. He's an EP amateur. Oh, nice line there. Mr. DC Gloengi. You can tell he's a very underrated lock. Does the groundwork, not scared of the dirty work, and it's going to be a penalty for progress. You can see the intensity on the big tart head prop. Divan Bonaparte. And you can absolutely feel the tension up here, Anton. It's unbelievable. The crowds are divided. There's a tension around this field. It's still the feeling out period of the initial part of this opening two minutes. Both sides have not found their straps. Guys. You I'm on almost the have this feeling up, it's please. gonna explode. Here we go. The calm before the storm. Dion Plykis. Oh, it's been stolen. You really have to start thinking about the set pieces for this match. Club rugby can cause headaches for sides. And it looks like a drop kick attempt. And just doesn't have the legs. <laughs> A lot of bravery. I think it was Anthony Roman who went for that drop kick. <laughs> and for me, you got to have quite a bit of confidence yeah, to, to go off. for the drop from, from that far out at sea level. Oh, definitely so, but outstanding pillar defensive work at the lineup by Luengo in the front. He's a big man at 2 meters, 1, 118 kilograms. And this time, progress is line out works out better for them kick down the tram lines oh bounced well but it's gonna run out and we're gonna be called back so it will be a scrum from where the ball was kicked varying their options are here we go guys Step off. The progress go. side a chip here a chip there it's just giving them front foot momentum at the moment. But as I mentioned earlier on, it's still Spacing, at loggerheads Spacing, this game. Spacing. It's it's even Stevens. You can feel the tension. Oh. It is absolutely amazing. Rugby of the working class here. Set. The scrum falls apart, but Forbes cleans up. Play it. He has to play it. <laughs> Look how pumped up these gents are. I told you before the game, show me the contest and I'll reward you, okay? You don't even have to speak about that picture and what it's telling you about the emotions on the field, Anton. The men in blue are absolutely pumped up and the fact that they won the penalty they've got the first opportunity to add some points tells the story christian berry just 20 years of age call him ching and i just think he looks so cool with that haircut cool um, cool and Yo, quite close, I think. Just misses it. It's fairly short. Drop kick. Oh, it's stolen. And who other but Gluengu finds his fellow lock and an intercept now. It's a Captain Hans hurled to the earth. <laughs> Stepping inside, good lines from progress. Now, 10 meters out. Very good clearing out. Little half gap for Roman. Stolen. Get away now. Luingo, Warren Luingo. Right 
And touch not found. It's another drop kick attempt from Barry. Charged down, however. Well, you get a lot of confidence in, in your youth. I would, I would say optimistic uh, attempt at goals. Christian Berry charged down. And then a handling error. Whoa, that was so close. A flying kick. But Gardens with the advantage. They will have a scrum. We know the earlier scrum that took quite a bit of pressure in that set piece. So, just a painful uh, picture for those of you at home. There's a Kele Township located just outside Port Elizabeth. There has been music just pumping just from the stadium. Just and you have to remember, Super Sport Challenge is unlike any tournament in the country and the world. Firstly, half a million rand up to grabs. And look at these guys. So they have come from Uton Hague. And the energy. You see, Ho, blo <laughs> Ho for Blow. Uh, we're happy with the pronunciation okay, of that. Oh, I was pretty amateur, <laughs> Anton, but I can tell you one thing. We got here earlier this morning at quarter past eight, and already fans were flocking into the stadium. And that is absolutely outstanding for this fantastic game of rugby. There's been an early let's change. Carson gets replaced by Lowe. Fans on. And... There's been music pumping out. Super Sport Challenge, they have entertainment. There's always performers at halftime, jaws in the community. And, it, you know, we're taking what happened last year and we're just making it bigger and better. Bye! Spacing both sides, please. Number 18. Taken up, taken up. Coach! Bye! Sit! Bye, Siva. Bit of a wheel in the scrum. Sent blind. Oh, space opening up. Excellent hands. It's into Bayman's hands. Oh, Dwayne Prince, the youngster. Now taken by Dwayne a wall of blue forms. Sent blind. Oh. We might have a little bit of work upstairs. Due to look at the garden supporters. And yes, the try has been confirmed. Garden's the first to break the deadlock. This is your try scorer. Margot Felix, who came in last night to the starting 15. A good start to the morning by him. Well, it's outstanding play, and what made this try is the quality of the recycle ball from Prince to his centre partner, Tehran. Prince goes through the gap. The recycle ball and the ball retention is perfect. And then, how are they going to stop this big man, Margot Felix? You need to hit him hard and low or gang tackle him. Body position is good, and over he goes. I mean, the match between Barry and Prince, slight weight differential there. I mean, Prince is always going to get it, but that man had a big role in that try. Outstanding play. Did that ball lose control as it was scored, but the try will stand. And Margo Felix gets his name on the board. And we restart with a bit of a juggling game. Eventually, excellent hands from the prop. It's Clarkson. Progress. Take possession. Got advantage as well. 
Terry letting it go. Oh, strong running. Mayer. Berry. Oh, good hands. Gonna see some big contact. No, the lock let it out. And that's gonna be a try. Goodness me. Strike back immediately. Does progress. Denver Jones. Exceptional play from the progress side. Seamless touches in front of heavy traffic. The interplay between backs and forwards and unselfishly flat pass there made the try for Jones. Outstanding touches. And Jones, the product of McCarthy High, he is a forklift operator. And that tells a story. Christian Berry. Tricky kick. And we will stay locked by ball. And this is turning out to be just the derby we had anticipated. Well, it was all made before the build up. Lovely touch from Samuel Jacobs to the fly out wide. But the trial was made before that. The quality of the recycle ball and the speed of presentation of the ball. Look at the supporters in blue from the Progress Rugby Club. They are loving that try. So you, you mentioned Samuel Jacobs, and he actually, I thought he was going to take contact, but really deft hands from the lock. And he's responsible also largely for that try. They call him Big Ben, 125 kilograms. And as you mentioned, the try scorer works as an operator. Many of these players work in factories for automobile production. Volkswagen employs many of them. So a lot of these guys are operators, and rugby brings them together. But now the charge down to bounce fortuitously, and uh, just not quite ha able to handle it was Marlon Lewis. And that, that's what club rugby is about. I mentioned it early on. It's rugby of the working class hero. So you work the whole day in your factory, then you get home. Or you hit your club or you go for your training session you it, you form a brotherhood within that club firstly secondly there's a lot of guys that are unemployed that are playing out there today that make the sacrifice to go out there and play rugby for their local club because you become a family and that's what it's about Fine. indeed and you know Set. there are some tough economic times out there i was speaking to a gardens supporter and he said you know Half the guys are unemployed, and it's the rugby club, as, as you save them, that brings these guys together. A lot of guys have been led from, otherwise would have been some different paths and done good because of rugby. But now nice hands. Dwayne Prince, and it's a captain Hans, looping round. Ball spilt, but picked up. What a bollocking run there from Clyde Tehran. Turnover. And pretty handy kick being chased up, pressure being applied. Oh, good chasing up by Raymond Darius. But Luengo, considering, did well, excellently, in fact. Now Gardens have a chance to counter attack. However, the left kick employed doesn't find touch, stays in. We're going to carry on playing. Jake Goliath, this is frenetic rugby. Anthony Roman, Roman sends the pass. Will he be stopped? Whoa. Michael DeFoss, a meter out. Now sent wide. That's a penalty. Five, Goodness me, Vim. It's going to be some tired gentlemen by the end of this. There the problem get, gets cleaned up by Jade Goliath. And take a look at that pass. That is about vision. He knew there was a play out there in support. He flicks it over his head backwards. No look pass. Outstanding play from the men in blue. Progress Rugby Club.
So this gent saw shoulder. And as Vim was saying, imagine you work all day in a factory, get a lift to your club, and then you have to tackle guys and play a copper stub. And, you know, it really is remarkable. And, and a lot of these players are, are quite old, Vim. They're in their 30s, you know, progress is prop. Leroy Simpson, they call Flace. This man here, he's 35. So, really, must be some secret to longevity in the water of Utenag. 129 kilograms. Although, Vim, you, you retired at 40. So, you know, these, these are still spring chickens in your eyes. Oh, definitely. So, you didn't have to bring that up, Anton. 40 years of age, yep. That's when I played my last big game. And I can tell you what, I miss every single day. Not being on a rugby field and part of a team. And that's what it's all about, that team spirit, the change room before a game. And that's what it means to these guys out there. So you can hear the band playing, and you saw them in shot earlier. Those are the guys that play at St. George's Stadium in the cricket. And are such a distinct sound. You know, so the band... Everyone knows St. George is the cricket. And here we see these guys. And this is just such a I mean, the distinct red amidst the blue. But it is just so great because this music will be playing throughout the match and the energy just flowing over the fields. Quilt. Bye. You're already in and out. Okay? We spoke about the spacing, guys. Please, do that. Both of you. It's a reset scrum, and it's just a Halt. entry issue at the moment and a binding issue. Bind. Set. And the soldier dead. Short arm taken by Hans. Oh, Stop just short is Archie Hans. Progress. Head of another go. Let's remind you the men in blue progress are the current Eastern Province Grand Challenge champions, and they knocked out the men in green in the semi finals. So this is a massive match, and as I mentioned early on, it's about bragging rights. Halt! Bye! Set! An important scrum goes the way of the Blues. Progress. Earn themselves a penalty. <laughs> Lewin Mayer, the number nine, getting in the face of his opposition. Oh, that's a scrum penalty. You need to earn the turn, and the men in green from Gardens wheeling it purposely. Gardens defending with one man in the blind side channel. Cold. If progress got to get a Five. good tarted lean, it's a two Six. against one. And, oh, the scrum does wheel. It's going to be taken off the back. And that's a try. Jay Goliath picks it up, darts over. Good set piece from progress. They regain their lead. Outstanding try from Jade Goliath, but what he does well is he plays to the loose head wheel. Take a look at this. What that means is the defender on Dili Mark is out of play. He cannot defend that. Body position is good. Head down. A lot of strength showed and demonstrated. Very, he's a 
very attacking player. He played Gauteng Sevens. His lines under 16, Raiders under 21. With his kicking. Oh, he's done well there. Deemed himself. Good kick. Well, for progress and their coaching staff, Mervyn Samuels is exactly what the doctor ordered. In the red zone, they come away with spoils. Green bears upon blue and strong take. You're outside, outside. Mayor Berry is almost charged down, hasn't found touch. The eighth man gives it to Kenny Bayman. Bayman! Bayman's from Kirkwood and now it's a fly half, Ronaldo Lewis. And. 22. Dotted down by Anthony Roman. Can the dog team scoop Behind. And just into the garden's half. It was well chased up by Gustav Mayer. Bayman. No, leave it now. Now looping around is Lewis. Lets it out. Oh, goodness me. Dwingo's run over his opposite man. Yep, step. Lewis is quite nippy. Had a mean pass there, and that looks a little bit well taken by Gluengo. Forbes, brilliant hand, still going, and it scored. Gardens strike back. What a match we are seeing. As expected, this is going to be a seesaw battle, and Dwayne Prince is the man who gets his name on the board. I can tell you one thing in front of us. The Garden supporters are absolutely thrilled. It looked like there was a forward pass to the build-up, and that's what a lot of the Progress supporters are having a gripe about. But that chicken wing offload, Prince wrong steps the defenders inside. They were cover cover flagging at that moment. Outstanding play from Gardens. He's told to watch out for the loose forwards. And Dylan Marks, that can pass there is unbelievable. But the, the passing from the forwards in both teams today has been at a very high level. Very important kick. And to draw even. Goes low. And just misses its mark. So progress. Hold on to their lead. We spoke about skill set early on. And I can tell you there's only been three handling errors in this fixture. And that's not bad for a club rugby game. And I can tell you as well, Anton, this is being played at a hard pace. It is so intense. You can see why the EP Club Championship trophy yo-yos between these two teams. Lewis. Good kick from him. In their possession pretty fairly meted out. Open up. 
This time. Denver Bonaparte calmly finds Dwingu. And indeed, quite a calm more that's earned Gardens the penalty. Number six. Oh, it's a good two handed take. Banker ball from. Medici Luengo in the front of the lineouts. He's a big man, two meters one. But it is a lateral entry from Archie Hans. He concedes the penalty. Ah, oh, perfect. Good support from the two prop forwards. So another line out for Evergreens this time 40 meters up from the prior and oh long confident one and it works out for Gardens got the advantage oh space for Lewis lets it out finds his man Prince took that well lets it go and there could have been some real trouble for Gardens had they not been called back for the earlier infringement. Finish was over. It's your scrum, yeah. It's a good recycle, but there's where the knock on occurred. The advantage was over there. You got a new scrum, yeah. And the referee was playing advantage. Time's off. But there is a problem. Looks like one of the gardens men in green. Right, ladies and gentlemen, who's your Kenny? Can I see my And it's Archie Hans, the captain. Thirty-one years old. Where are my garden supporters? Excuse me, Darlington Hans, it's Archie's brother. And he is 29. You can understand why one might be confused. And moment to appreciate what a great name Darlington Hans is. Stay the contest, he's got a, a stinger on his right shoulder. And I can tell you one thing as captain, he leads from the front and there's no way he's going to leave this field. He's the one that recovered the ball in the line and as he went down, obviously landed awkwardly on that right shoulder. Crouch! But he's back in action. You wouldn't expect less in a derby Crouch. of this quality. And Darlington Hans oh, gets the opportunity to Set. massage that injured shoulder in the scrum now. Use it now, stay. Looks out nicely, Lewis. Get away from Tehran. 35 years old is Tehran. It can go. Gardens. Looking dangerous. Now they're off to send it wide. It's come out. Hans. No, leave it too. Injury. Leave it. To the fly off. Lewis. Lewis still going. Really good recycling from this garden side. Ho oh, ho! The bounce dished out Way now. by Darlington Hans. No, leave it! Advantage. <laughs> it's not the stockiest play. He wouldn't have play advantage, went backwards. expected play him to be the one in the drop kick attempt. <laughs> First one rolling, slowing him down. Number two Worth a go, side worth side a shot, Marlon Lewis. Well, he did have an advantage penalty in his favour. Paula. The product of Betrim High has played provincial rugby for EP under 19 and Eastern Province under 21. So he has got a bit of experience. 
and using that to his perfection, he knew he had a penalty advantage. He knew there was an option for the three afterwards. So, look at this. Boom! The oh, bus good, is full. It's a good carry by the captain, Darlington Hans. Just to remind you, earlier on he was recovering from a shoulder injury. And there he carries the ball up, knocks a few players over. Vital penalty for Gardens. Well, we all know Ronaldo, who's pretty good at kicking. And I think this one will hope that he fares similarly. And he does. Ronaldo scores the penalty. And Gardens now into the lead. One point match in Wolfson Stadium. So, in a one point game, the restart stolen by Progress. Got it, got it, Fox, got it. There really, at this point, is so little between the teams. And a very fair score, I think. Now, Oh, excellent inside pass. The In the offload just lost. A rear handling error. That is number three for the garden side. Progress on the other hand. Three handling errors. Only six thus far in this fixture. I can tell you one step that has made a difference in this fixture. His tackles made. 32 from Progress, 13 from Gardens, 7 missed from Progress, 3 missed from Gardens. Time's off. It's in the way there. Okay, let's go. Time's back on. Let's go, guys. Remember the D-Bahn. I saw you change the bus. There are three matches that are taking place today. Boerland versus Border following this one. And thereafter, EP Kings will be taking on Western Province. Guys, I'm going to start with this. If I call Crouch, we go down, okay? Crouch! I you've noticed, Anton, there's a... A lush silence of anticipation Five. from the crowd. What's Six. going to happen next? Rugby in the Eastern Cape. I mean, it's like a religion here. And certainly spectators who appreciate the game. Now it's the hands of Darius. And he's just run out. You know, these two teams can just make danger from nowhere. We'll be talking about something. And all of a sudden, there's try time on the cards. So it's such a fast pace and you can expect something from nothing no space available the quality of that pass was exceptional to Darius from the scrum half Berry and then the counter defense cover defense from Ronaldo Lewis picture perfect it's okay All right five just open up let's go front of the line out Bonaparte More. joins the fray Lewis I think Lewis is having an absolute cracker today doesn't find touch there but he gets some ground Roman Berry oh where's it gonna bounce Not. ends up oh is it Several knock-ons. We're going to have a scrum for Gardens. The ball was a judge to be knocked on by the men in blue yep. progress. Personally, I believe there was a knock-on before that as the ball got spread wide. 
It will be a garden's feed at the scrum. A lovely blindside available. And I can tell you, Crouch. progress are only defending with one player in that blind channel. A good stable scrum. You play Five. to the wheel. It could be an 8, 9, Set. 14 opportunity. Use it now, 9. Gardens running it up. Oh, the dummy go. And space opening up for Prince. Prince lets it out. And oh, great job. Let's go. Here. Let's go. Go. Well handled by Ketchum. <laughs> Those progress supporters, the look on their face says it all. Just open up. Just well, that's open a up. good starter move from up, Gardens. Up. It all starts with Ronaldo Lewis, the show and go, creates space out wide. The timing it's of the, the pass team, to, yeah. to Prince and then this cover defence from Anthony Roman, puts his body on the line, saves a try. Oh, the line out. Now Gordon spreading it wide. They may have a player overlap. It's gone forward of a hand. Good play, Dwayne Prince. Just trying to flick that ball on. You could see how much that pass meant to him in the pictures afterwards. Progress led off the hook. Coach! And a try now on Fine. the brink of half time. Sit. Would be huge for one side and devastating for the other. Progress. It's a good scrum from them. And they earn themselves a penalty. It's an outstanding scrum to win the penalty for the progress side. Well controlled at the back of the, the scrum by Jade Goliath. It's a good scrum from the men in blue. Progress and control at the back of the scrum. They, they milk the scrum penalty. And it's well done. Progress. Berry. Inside line. Daniel Jacobs is lurking in the back line. To rock now. Archie Hans. Think of it, Gardens have been from with the ball player. mostly last while, and they continue now. Bonaparte <laughs> takes some heavy contact, picked up by Sherman Lovemore. Oh, Zana, Zana, <laughs> there is such big contact from a foot play. And Curtis see us there. Progress center took on the prop, and that could have been a good tackle by Denver Jones. He slowed Just up knock on Gardens, the there by had an overlap. And I want to see Winston Zana again. Thank you. Well, it is yeah. progress at the moment, chasing shadows defensively. Yeah, sorry, man. They're getting bumped I'm off tackles, you. slipping off tackles. They've made 36. <laughs> They've missed <laughs> nine. <laughs> and that's why the scoreboard tells a 13 12 story. It's a lovely running line from the big prop and forward, Winston this. Zana. A good defensive effort from Curtis Sias, product of Utenag High. And I'll tell you, Winston Zana, a bit like Malibue Samanga, who is the hooker for Wusu. And in fact, Samanga is going to be playing later. He's coming off the bench for Border. 
You have to stay straight. You have to stay straight. So, these matches, which we are talking about, we have an absolute Down festival time. of rugby. Next up, Bola and Cavaliers versus the Border Bulldogs. Back on. It continues into your Sunday. Your Channel Stay Champions, straight. EP Elephants up against Western Province. A 3 p.m. kickoff. And, well, we're enjoying it. And these ladies and gentlemen are having an absolute time. Bye. So you see the Gardens crowd Set. more animated. Perhaps that extra point really weighing that heavily in the minds. Good push by Gardens. It's a rock now. Goliath. Just a knock on. Takes it up. It's been stolen. And Dile Mart. 35 years oh, old. Over for the knock. Oh, Prince. Get away. You're in the way there. Get away, yep. So, oh, it's in a good going, place. Going against Michael the Force, not rolling away at the oh, breakdown go, point. You need to make an effort in front of the referee. Number four, first one in. And not the best decision, I think, to have taken the short penalty there. It was in front of the poles. This point margin, but the guy's quite exuberant. Uh, I tend to agree with you, Anton. It's all about scoreboard pressure, and that could have been an extra three. You go into the break, 16 points to 12 up. Those are massive points that they've let go past. But I can tell you one problem area for the progress side is their ball retention at the breakdown point. They've been turned over on numerous occasions. Oh, you're right, Tom. It seems that the momentum just always gets interrupted. Good fix there. Five turnovers conceded to three. Marlon Lewis has come up. <laughs> Got a real energy to him. You just get the idea. He's licking his lips at this opportunity. It's split. Other side of the rack on the blind side to your right. There two players awaiting it. Like. Use that nine. And Lewis decides to send it blind. Goes in a little run. Let's it out. The fullback into space. Back to Lewis. Lewis sends out the pass now. Will it be a try? Yes, it will. Warren Glengu. 41 minutes into this match. Gardens. Take a bigger lead. And look at those smiles. Warren Luengu, but the try is made by the Nuggety scrum half Marlon Lewis. And the silky touches in front of heavy traffic was like music to my eyes. Unbelievable stuff from this club side. There, then a wraparound. He follows his pass. The support is good. The timing of the pass out to Luengu made it look so easy. Ronaldo gets it again. 20 points to 12. Excuse me. And what a first half it has been. So little between these sides. And after 41 minutes, Gardens lead progress. 20 points to 12.